So good afternoon and welcome guys. Uh, sorry for the technical issues, not sure what's going on. Thank you for your patience, really appreciate it. So just uh, bear with me, just two minutes, just seeing some people coming on. So I'm sure that I've lost most of the group, but um, thank you for joining today. Really want to get back into practicing. Right, perfect. So good afternoon and welcome. Haven't seen you guys for a little bit. Hope that you had a very good week last week. I decided to take some downtime, rest my body a little bit, so worked out really, really well for me. Sorry about the technical issues today. Um, I, s I was up on um, Zoom didn't see any participants so obviously there's something technical I'll work on it tomorrow just make sure that everything's up and going and I'll post this video obviously on the Instagram story um, and maybe even put it up on my YouTube uh, channel so without uh, taking any more time let's get done and practice good to be with you guys again I'm work on twist today I, I don't know I feel like there's some toxicity in our bodies and I think that toxicity is more from a mental and emotional point of view than necessarily a physical point of view. And so in today's practice we want to really work on sort of twisting these sort of negative feelings, negative emotions out of our body, let them go. I know that we've been dealing with 60 days of lockdown, maybe some of you more or less. I know I've got some people from around the world. So um, as you focus on your twist today, remember that part of your body stays static and you use that static part of your body to twist around. And so even if you take a little bit more time and really deepen into the twist without hurting yourself, it's going to do wonders for you know, any blocked energy, any blocked emotions and any blocked uh, thoughts or images that you have in your mind. All right, great. So I want to start off in um, corpse pose today. So come down to lie on your backs, take your ankles towards the outside edges of the mat, arms go out at a 45 degree angle, and I want you to wiggle around just a little bit so that you can find a comfortable position. And then just to make sure we're protecting ourselves, I want you to lift up your right, your left hand, place your left hand onto your right shoulder, and then lift up your right hand, place your right hand onto your left shoulder as you cross your hands across your chest, sealing in you know, all of this self-love and then close into your eyes, relax your toes out towards the side, relax your muscles. We take this beginning of our practice just to come into our bodies and bring our bodies into this beautiful space that we've chosen to practice yoga in today. So letting that hard edge just melt off your body so that you can come into the space, prepare your mind and your body for your yoga practice today. Breath gently flowing in, gently flowing out, starting to calm and still the mind. So just be an observer here as you notice what comes up for you, maybe it's energy, maybe it's emotions, maybe it's thoughts. As long as you don't attach to it, just be an observer, let it go, let it flow. As you start to find that stillness in your mind, bring your mind into your body, notice the back part of your body connected 
onto the floor, onto the mat, and notice your hands across your chest as it gives you that beautiful, warm feeling of being protected, being nurtured, being nourished. And then from this position of grounding, from this position of stillness, release your right hand out towards the right hand side and then your left hand out towards the left hand side as we come into regular corpse position. Relax into the shoulders. We we'll start to lengthen into our breath. Take a deep inhale for a count of three. Belly rises. As you exhale, tuck that belly down towards your spine as you force the stale air, stale thoughts out. Inhaling again for three. Exhaling for three as you move your abdominal muscles. Again, inhaling for three. Exhaling for three. I'm going to do seven more rotations of breath like that. If you can find a little bit more space, then lengthen into your counts. If you're happy with the three counts, then let's keep the three count going. Again, keeping your attention very clear as you raise your belly and pull your belly back towards your spine. So we want to make sure that our digestive system are healthy in this time of craziness. Maybe working towards the last four in this rotation. Last breath. And keep the breath going. I want you to set your sankalpa for your practice today. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's for someone else. Maybe you can focus on letting go, bringing your bodies back into balance. Summarize your intention in a couple of words. And then repeat those intentions to yourself quietly in your own mind on three separate inhales as you give rise and energy to that which you want to achieve in your practice today. Open up your eyes to heart gates, clicking your eyelids a couple of times. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. I want you to take your arms out towards the side, palms facing down. Bring your ankles together, knees together. And then on the inhale, bring the knees towards your chest, but knees are over your hips. Shins parallel towards the mat, ankles touched, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. We're going to gently twist our bellies, but keep your shoulders down. Remember, this is the static position of your torso down. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees across the left-hand side. Gaze goes right. Come all the way back to center. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, knees go across to the right-hand side. Gaze goes left. Coming all the way back to center, across to the left-hand side. Gaze right. Come all the way back to center, really engaging into the abdominal areas, knees across to that right hand side. Come all the way back to center. We've got three more either side. Use your breath to move you there, across to the left. Come all the way back to center, across to right. Come all the way back to center. Two more times, across to the left. Starting to feel that warmth, across to the right. Back to center. Remember, we're focusing on the twist, focusing on the engagement of the bellies across to the left hand side. Come all the way back to center. Last time, across to that right hand side. Knees come all the way back to center. Just gently bring the knees in towards your chest, place the hands below your knees, flex your toes towards your shins. As you inhale, release the knees away. As you exhale, pull them in, relax into your body. Again, inhaling, releasing the knees away. As you exhale, pull the belly, the knees in towards the belly. And then last time, knees fall away. And then pull the knees in. Very good. Just gently cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Drop your feet down towards the mat. Arms drop down by your side. Push in through your hands, push in through your elbows. Come up into Sukhasana, easy seated position. We're going to roll over onto our knees come into tabletop position. Just open up your knees hip width apart. 
but do bring your toes together, hands underneath your shoulders. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, sit all the way back down into child's pose. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, walk your hands across to that left hand side. I want you to hold it a bit and then see if you can drop your chest down towards your thighs as we get a beautiful stretch on the right hand side of your body. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, come all the way back into that neutral position, the center. I want you to come up into tabletop, tuck your toes under, lift up your knees and walk your hands all the way back into a standing forward fold. You know, slightly walk our feet out so that we can come into a wide-legged forward fold. For a moment, come up onto your fingertips, look forward, and then tuck your chin towards your chest as we come all the way down into a wide-legged standing forward fold. Come up onto your tippy, uh, up onto your fingertips, start to walk your feet back onto the mat. We'll walk our hands all the way back forward, dropping back down into tabletop position. Toes come together. Drop your sitting bones all the way back down towards your heels as we come into wide-legged child's pose. So you know where we're going. We're going across to that right-hand side as we stretch out the left-hand side of the body. Gentle twisting motion. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Come back into tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Lift up your knees. Walk your hands all the way towards the back of the mat. And then again, walking your feet out, coming into that wide-legged forward fold. But first, coming up onto your fingertips, tucking your chin towards your chest, gently dropping your palms down towards the mat, chin towards your chest, stretching out those hamstrings inside of the legs. Come up onto your fingertips, walk your feet back onto the mat, and then walk your hands all the way back out as we come back down into tabletop position. Toes come together, walk your hands or drop your sitting bones back down towards your heels. Again, we're moving across to the left hand side, walk your hands all the way across to that left hand side. Really stretching out that right hand side of your body should be quite delicious. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, walk your hands all the way back towards the center. Come up into tabletop position, tuck your toes under, lift up your knees, walk your way all the way back into the sort of wide legged. Uh, standing forward fold and then open up your feet so we can go a little bit deeper come up onto your fingertips lean your chest forward tuck your chin towards your chest drop your palms down towards the mat chin towards your chest crown of the head faces down towards the mat releasing those stale thoughts stale ideas come up onto your fingertips walk your feet in walk our hands all the way back down so we come back into that tabletop position Big toes come together, sitting bones go back towards your heels as we come into this wide-legged child's pose. Last time, coming all the way across to that right-hand side. Really push your knees down, your shins down towards the mat. Stretch out that left-hand side of your body. And then take a deep inhale as you exhale. Walk your hands back towards the center. Last time, coming up into tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Walk back into the... Uh, forward fold. Walk your feet off the mat. Climb up onto your fingertips. Make sure you're not dropping your bum backwards. Lead your weight forward. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Gently drop your palms down towards the mat. Chin down towards your chest. Drop your heels down towards the floor and stretch out the backs of your legs, inside the edge of your legs. And then we're lifting our head up, coming up onto our fingertips. This time I want you to walk your feet into a regular standing forward fold. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest. And round out one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Just lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Take your shoulders back. Open up your heart center and drop your shoulders all the way down. It's so good to be back with you guys. I want you to walk your way towards the front of the mat. So feet hip width apart. So I'm going to ask you to take your right hand onto your left shoulder. Take your left hand back behind you. Lengthen out into your spine. And then gently twist your body across to the left hand side. You're going to come slowly all the way back to center. Almost like a matador or swapping it around. Right hand comes back behind you. Left hand onto right shoulder. Step down through your feet. Lengthen out through your spine. Engage into your belly. And gently twist across to the right hand side. 
come all the way back to the neutral position in the center drop your hands down either side of your hips bring your toes together as you inhale root to rise arms go out towards the side watch your palms come together cross your thumbs lengthen up take a deep inhale as you exhale not too far in a back bend as we go into a back bend inhaling coming all the way back to center as you exhale swan dive all the way down inhaling coming back up into halfway lift as you exhale stepping back down into standing forward fold we're stepping back with our right leg dropping down onto our right knee untucking our right toes and floating our fingers up towards the sky as we come into crescent lunge as you inhale come out of the lunge as you exhale take that left knee in line with your left toes keep the hips square keep the shoulders square frame your front foot with both of your hands tuck under the toes the right foot lift the right knee and gently float back to downward facing dog beautiful on your downward facing dog flowing forward into plank pose push back through the heels engage the legs and then push in through your palms straighten out those arms wrap those elbows together feel the activation and engagement into your core take a deep inhale as you exhale drop your knees down towards the mat sitting bones pull back towards your heels chest down towards your thighs bend into your elbows float forward knees chin and chest Lift up your knees, drop down onto your belly, untuck your toes. As you inhale, come up into baby cobra. We're taking our look over our left shoulder, back towards our right heel. Coming all the way back into the center and doing the same on the opposite side. Coming all the way back to center. Elbows bend backwards, chest comes all the way down. Tuck under your toes and push back through to plank pose. Push back through the heels, engage the legs. Push into your palms. Hold it for a moment. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Pipe your hips up towards the ceiling. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lift up your right leg. Bend into your right knee. Step your right foot forward. Push back through that left heel. Arms go out towards the side. High lunge. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, frame your front foot with both of your hands. Step forward with your left foot. Bend into your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Round out one vertebra at a time. Head lifts up last. Open up your feet. Right hand onto your left shoulder. Left hand back behind you. Step down through those feet. Feel the activation. Engage into that belly. And gently twist across to that left hand side. Coming all the way back to center like a matador. Matador swapping it around. Stepping in. Lengthening up. Gently twisting across to the right hand side. Come all the way back to center. Release your hands down feet come together as you inhale root to rise watch your prayer touch overhead cross your thumbs over each other lengthen those biceps in line with your ears engage into the belly gentle back bend maybe go a little bit deeper come all the way back to center lift up swan low dive all the way down standing forward fold inhale come up into halfway lift exhale into standing forward fold step back with your left foot Drop down onto your left knee, untuck your toes, float your fingers up towards the sky, crescent lunge. As you inhale, come out. As you exhale, float back in. Hold it. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Tuck under the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee, and float that right foot back to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, flow forward into plank pose. Push back through those heels. Feel the legs. Push into your palms, straighten out those arms, wrap those elbows. Move your attention into your belly. Is it activated, engaged? Go through chaturanga or chaturanga variation. I'll do the variation. Drop your knees down. Push your shoulders forward. Bend your elbows backwards. Keep them into the side of your body. Let's get that workout in the top part of our body. Untuck our toes. Find your way into upward facing dog. Gently drop your knees, bend your elbows backwards, come all the way down. Hands lift up underneath shoulders, tuck under your toes, push back into plank pose. Hold it. Chin towards your chest, pike your hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up behind you, bend the left knee in towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the right heel, float your arms out towards the side, strong crescent lunge, high lunge. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Step your right foot forward. Bend into your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Round out. One vertebra at a time. 
open up your feet. Go where we're going. Right hand on two, left shoulder. Left hand back behind you. Lengthen up. Gently twist across to the left hand side. Come all the way back into the center. Mat it off. Lengthen up. Twist across to that right hand side. Ah, oh, beautiful. Come all the way back to center. Release your hands down. Feet come together. Inhale, root to rise. Cross your thumbs. Back bend. Come all the way back to center. Swan dive it down. Inhale, come up into halfway lift. Exhale into standing forward fold. Step back with that right leg. Drop down onto the right knee. Untuck your toes. Crescent lunge. Inhale, come out of the lunge. Be fanatical about how you move that left knee in line with the left toes. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Chin towards your chest. Tuck under your toes. Float it all the way back to down replacing dog. Beautiful. Let's go. Float forward into plank pose. Knees, chin, chest. Feel that energy flowing through the body. Drop down onto your bellies. Untuck your toes. As you inhale, come up into baby cobra. Pull the elbows in. Look over the left shoulder for the right heel. Come all the way back into the center. Look across the right shoulder to the left heel. Come all the way back to center. Elbows bend backwards. Chest comes forward. Tuck under your toes. Use the strength pulling up the energy from the earth. Coming back into plank pose. Hold it. Chin towards your chest. Pike lips up towards the ceiling. Down with facing dog. Right leg lifts up behind us. Bend the right knee towards your chest. Step it forward. Push back through that left heel. Come up into a high lunge. Biceps in line with ears. Strong pose. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Step forward. Bend into your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Round up. One vertebra at a time. Come up. Open up your feet. Right hand onto left shoulder. Left hand back behind you. Use it to lengthen up. Support your body. Let's twist a little bit deeper. Not too deep. Just feel the vibrations and sensations. Come all the way back to center. Let's swap it around. Engage. Lengthen. Twist it out. Come back to center. Drop your hands down. Feet come together. Inhale, root to rise, lengthen up. Thumbs cross. Pull your belly in. Back bend. Come all the way back to center. Lengthen up first. And then gracefully swan dive all the way down, standing forward fold. Inhale, come back into halfway lift. Back down into standing forward fold. We're stepping back with that left leg, dropping down onto the left knee, untucking your toes, floating both of your fingers up towards the sky. As you inhale, come out. As you exhale, be fanatical about the placement of your hips, shoulders, knees. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Tuck under the toe of the left foot. Float it back. Down the facing dog. We move through a vinyasa here. Come forward into plank. So chaturanga, chaturanga variation. This time I'll do chaturanga. Push off the toes. Bring the shoulders forward. Bend into your elbows. Keep the elbows in. Hover above the mat. When you're ready, come into upward facing dog, hover the thighs. Drop your knees down, bend your elbows backwards, come down slowly. Lift up your hands, place them underneath your shoulders, tuck under your toes, push back into plank pose. Chin towards your chest, pipe your hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Last movement here, lifting up that left leg, bend the left knee towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the right heel. Come up into a high lunge, really, really strong. So frame our front foot with both of our hands. Step back into downward facing dog. Knees drop towards the outside edge of the mat. Untuck your toes. Wide leg of child's pose. Five breaths, guys. Long, deep, beautiful inhales and exhales. Let it come in. Beautiful energy coming into your bodies. Finish those five breaths, push into your palms, lift up your forehead, sit all the way back into Thunderbolt pose. How are we doing guys? Hopefully you're starting to feel those twists working, hopefully you're starting to feel the engagement in your bellies, strengthening into your lower backs. I'm going to follow into the sequence a little bit more, adding into it. Good opportunity to have something to drink if it suits you, 
Otherwise, if you're not having anything to drink, place your hands down onto your thighs, elbows coming towards the side of your body. Sit down through those two sitting bones, really lengthen up through the spine so you've got space between the vertebrae. Close into your eyes and reconnect with this beautiful pranayama. <coughs> if you've had something to drink, join us in this meditative position. you to repeat into your sankalpa, your attention, your affirmation, giving rise and energy. Exhale, remove the obstacles. So again, connecting back into that stillness, connecting back into the consciousness, just noticing what's happening in your bodies, what's happening with your energy, what's happening with your emotions, what's happening with those thoughts in your mind. We're going to clear the screen open up our eyes we're going to find our way into a standing position so i'm going to change and move towards the front of the mat meet you in the front of the mat so we can open up feet hip width apart open up your palms step down through your feet notice the connection of your feet into the floor into the mat pull the energy up from the earth activate and engage into the belly Take a deep inhale as you exhale, Utkatasana chair pose. Gently place both of your hands down onto your knees. Right hand is going to come onto the outside of your left knee. The left hand is going to go back behind you, open up your palm, gently twist it out. And then gently bring your hands back onto your knees. As you inhale, float your fingers up towards the sky. Sit down a little bit deeper. As you inhale, float it up. As you exhale, swan dive it down. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, step back with your right leg. Drop down onto your right knee. Untuck your toes. Drop both of your palms down either side of your left foot. Then lean into your right hand. Take your left hand up towards the side. Just an easy twisting lunge. Drop that left hand back behind you. And then gently float all the way back down again. As you inhale, lift up both of your hands towards the sky as you come to a crescent latch. Look at your palms touch. Bring the palm into the center of the body. If your left knee is extended, bring your left knee back so that your right hip is over your right knee. Again, lengthen out through your spine. Take that right elbow, place it on the outside of that left knee. Left elbow points up towards the sky. Gently push into your palms and spin the rib basket. All right, I want you to relax in again. <clears throat> Look down at your left foot. And then again, push into your palms. See if you can spin your rib basket. Look towards your hands. Look towards the left-hand side. See if you can bring your thumbs in line with your chest. Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Hands come back into prayer position in the center. Drop your hands down towards the mat. Tuck under the toes of the right foot. Lift the right knee and float all the way back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, flow forward into plank pose. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, lift up that left leg. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, bend the left knee towards the left elbow, touch it, and then float it all the way back behind you. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, bend the left knee towards the right elbow, keep the shoulders and chest square and then float it all the way back. Drop the left foot down. Knees drop down towards the mat. Sitting bones push back down towards your heels. Moving to your vinyasa, bend into your elbows, float forward, knees to the chest. Lift up your knees, drop down into your belly, untuck your toes. As you inhale, lift up into baby cobra. Looking over the left shoulder for the right heel. Come all the way back to center. Look over the right shoulder for the left heel. Come all the way back to center. Chest comes all the way down towards the mat. Hands underneath shoulders. Tuck under your toes. Push back into plank pose. Chin towards your chest. Park your hips up towards the ceiling. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, look towards your hands. Walk your feet all the way towards the front of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Bend into your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Round out. One vertebra at a time. Beautiful. <coughs> 
upright, we're going to move through that sequence on the opposite side. <coughs> Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Root katasana, chair pose. Caress the mat. Lift your fingers up. Look down at your knees, drop your hands down towards your knees. Left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Right hand goes back behind you, open up the twist. Hands come all the way back down onto the knees. Float your hands up towards the sky, coming into Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down a little bit deeper. As you inhale, float it up. As you exhale, swan down the back. <coughs> come up into a halfway lift. Back down into standing forward fold. We're stepping back this time with the opposite leg. Stepping down onto that left knee, untucking your toes. So our hands are on the side of that right foot. The weight's going to come into that left hand. Take your right hand out towards the side. Put your fingers up towards the sky. Open up your chest. Beautiful. Floating all the way back down again. As you, <clears throat> as you inhale, lift up your hands, come into a crescent lunge. So bring the left hip over the left knee, watch your prayer touch above your head. Hands come into prayer position at the center of your chest. So we're going to lift that left elbow closer on the outside of the right knee. Right elbow places up towards the sky. And then again, if you look across to the right hand side, push into your palms from the rib basket. All right, look down at your right toes, relax into the twist. And then we're going to twist it out again, push into your palms, spin the rib basket across to that right hand side, bringing your thumbs in line with your chest. Hands come back into prayer position at the center of your chest. Drop your hands down towards the mat. Tuck into the toe of the left foot, lift the left knee, float all the way back to down with facing dog. So again, we're going to move through the vinyasa. This time, either knees, chin, and chest, chaturanga dandasana, chaturanga variation, will all meet back in downward facing dog. Flow all the way forward into plank pose. Move through your version, maybe knees, chin, and chest this time. Feel it in your bodies, keep that stillness. Open facing dog, baby cobra. Back into plank pose, chin towards your chest, pike your back up towards the ceiling, down with facing dog. Look towards the front of your mat, walk your feet all the way forward. Feet hip with the pot, bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest. You are out, one vertebra at a time. <clears throat> all right, so we'll do that sequence just one more time, just adding some more poses into that sequence hopefully you're enjoying the twists hopefully you detoxing into sort of stuck energy any sort of physical things that you need to let go of <clears throat> obviously emotions and things in your mind take a deep inhale as you exhale look at us in a chair pose look down at your knees drop your hands down onto your knees sit down a little bit deeper right hand comes onto the outside of the left knee Left hand comes back behind you, open it up. Hands come back down onto your knees. Sitting back down into Utkatasana, hands come up. Sit down a little bit deeper, hold it. Knees in line with your ankles, in line with your toes. As you inhale, lift it up. As you exhale, deliciously swan down all the way down. Inhale, come up into baby cobra. Oh, halfway lift, sorry. All the way back down into standing forward fold. We're stepping back with our right leg. Dropping down onto our right knee, untucking our toes. Both palms flat on the mat. Left hand's going to go out towards the left hand side. Float your fingers up towards the sky. Open it up if you can. And then float it all the way back down again. Lifting your hands, coming all the way back into a crescent lunge. So pull out of the lunge as you bring the right hip over the right knee. Prayer comes together. Prayer comes into the center of your chest. Lengthen out, drop your right elbow on the outside of the left knee. We're twisting it out onto the side, spin it. Oh, lovely, let it go. And then we're going to do it again, maybe noticing if we can come a little bit deeper. Bring the prayer back into the center of your chest. Drop your hands down towards the mat. Tuck into the toes of your right knee, lift up that right knee. And then step back into downward facing dog. 
We'll move through a vinyasa, flow forward into plank pose. Maybe knees, chin and chest, baby cobra, chaturanga dandasana, whatever suits you, yogi's choice today. If you're doing the baby cobra, we're doing the twists. Get you back and down with face and dog. So before we finish off the sequence on this side, I want you to walk your feet sort of one step forward, maybe being able to drop those heels down. Weight comes in towards your left hand, tuck your chin towards your chest, lift up your right hand, bring your right hand towards the outside of your left ankle, left shin, and then pushing through your left hand, pull your chest back, step your heels down towards the mat. Shorten downward facing dog with a twist. Release the right hand down towards the mat. Doing the same, weight comes in towards the right hand. Lift up your left hand, cross lateral movements across your body, and then push it through your palms, drop your heels, pull your chest back towards the thighs. And then we're dropping all the way back into regular downward facing dog. Look towards the front of the mat. Walk all the way forward. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, round out, one vertebra at a time. Open up your palms. <clears throat> Last rotation here. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, root to us in a chair pose. Look down at your knees, drop your hands down onto those knees. Left hand comes on the outside of the right knee, right hand comes back behind you. Hands come all the way back down onto your knees. Sit down a little bit deeper, lift your fingers up towards the corner diagonal of the roof. Hold it, breathe. As you inhale, stretch it up, stretch it up. As you exhale, deliciously forward fold. Inhale, come up into a halfway lift. Exhale into standing forward fold. We're stepping back with that left leg, dropping down into the left knee. Hands down, other side of your right foot. Right hand goes out towards the right hand side, easy twisting lunge, open it up if you can. Put it all the way back down again. Let your fingers up into that crescent lunge. Pull the left hip over the left knee. Watch your prayer come together in your heart center. Lengthen out. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Elbow points up towards the sky, twist it in. Look down at your right foot, relax into it. So again, we're focusing on our twists, be conscious and aware, push into your palms, put your rib bars, get across to the right hand side, your thumbs in line with your chest bone, and then bring the prayer back towards the center. Hands drop down towards the mat. Tuck under the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee, float back to downward facing dog. Move through your vinyasa of choice or child's pose if it suits you. Meet you back in downward facing dog. Remember if you're doing baby cobra, I want you to do the twists. You choose, yogi's choice, whatever suits you today. Let's let go of this toxicity, whatever it is. Meet you back in downward facing dog. Beautiful guys. Last time on the twist here, walk your feet one step forward. Chin towards your chest. Watch you push into your palm, pull your hips back, take your thighs back, weighting towards your left hand, lift up your right hand, gently twist it out. Pull it back. It's a delicious stretch, you can feel it. Release your right hand down, we're swapping it across. Left hand towards your right ankle. Push it back, activate and engage, feel it, love it. Release the right hand down, the left hand down towards the mat, or back into downward facing dog. So knees dropping towards the outside edges of the mat, big toes come to touch, right leg of child's pose. Just five breaths here. Let that sequence just connect into your bodies. Long, beautiful, deep inhales. Long, beautiful, deep exhales. Pushing in through our palms, sitting all the way back up again. 
So depending on where you are, you might want to have something to drink. Otherwise, come back into this meditative position. Hands onto your thighs. Elbows come in. Lengthen out. Engage into your belly. I want you to observe what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what energy is flowing through your body. Then clear the screen. Connect back into your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation. Give rise and energy. Feeling the energy of all of us practicing together wherever we are, whatever place we're in. And then open up your eyes. I want you to bring your knees together. So I'm just going to change the rotation. And then take your hands forward, lift, uh, tuck under your toes, bring your ankles together and gently come into a toe squat. So before we move any further, I want you to take your fingers on the outside of those Maybe toes, maybe that uh, fourth toe, and just sort of lift it up so that you gently pull it out, and then bring your knees together, come into a balancing squat. Pull those knees together. Beautiful. We're going to take our right hand to the outside of that left uh, leg, keep those knees together, and then gently take that left hand back behind us as we open up our left shoulder looking towards the left hand side i want you to release the twist come all the way back to center this time left hand's coming on the outside of the right knee make sure that you're pressing this elbow into the outside of that right knee and then lift up that right hand take it back behind you consciously look backwards open up your shoulder putting the shoulder blades together and then come all the way back to center. So this time, we're going to come up into the twist. We're going to come up into the toe squat. Place your uh, left, uh, right hand onto the left knee. Left hand all the way back behind you. Lengthen up. See if you can do this balancing twist. Maybe have some fun with it if you fall out. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Take your hand back behind you. Lengthen up. Open up that chest, look towards the right hand side, and then coming all the way back to center, dropping your knees down towards me. Lean forward, untuck your toes, come onto the tops of your feet, and then we're going to take our hands back behind us, fingers pointing away from us, elbows come towards each other, shoulder blades come towards each other, lift up your knees, look up. Gently release your knees down. And again, lift your knees up, look up, and then gently drop it down. Just got one more to do here. Gently lift your knees up. This time, if you want to bring your hands into prayer position in this balancing pose, and then we're coming all the way back forward. All right, so just for fun, I'm going to move into side crow. If you can do it, that's great. If you just want to work on the twist, that's going to be perfect tonight. So we're going to come forward, tuck under our toes. Come back into that toe squat again. Again, making those adjustments for your toes. So what's really important about the side crow is not really the balancing today, although if you get the balancing, that's great. But I want you to have more focus on the twist. So lengthen out through your spine. Take that left, uh, right hand out towards the left hand side. Fingers aligned with each other. So we know that this left, uh, right elbow is on the outside of the knee. The real challenge is to get this left elbow onto your left hip so we need to bend into the elbow we need to look across to that side we need to transition our weight if you're just focusing on the twist then pull the knees together and pull that left shoulder back if you can look across to the left hand side bend into the elbow take your weight across and then float into that side crow so i want you to think too much about it maybe you can try it if it's not working for you just work on the twist Coming back into that toe squat, we're coming across to that right hand side. Remember that the left elbow is on the outside of the right knee, hands down the light. Tuck that uh, right elbow, bend into it, look across, move your weight across to the right hand side, float it across and maybe find the balance. Coming all the way back to center. I want you to just for a moment drop down onto your knees. Untuck your toes, come into Thunderbolt Pose. Hands down either side of your hips. I've got a visitor here. As you inhale, lift up your shoulders. As you exhale, drop it down. Are you going to do downward facing dog? Inhale, lift up your shoulders. Exhale, let it go. 
and just one more time, inhale, lift it up, exhale, gently let it go. Right, one more time, just coming up onto that toe squat, we're going to twist one more time onto the left and onto the right, maybe doing the side crow, maybe extending the legs if you want, and maybe just coming into child's pose if it's not, and we're going to slow down from here. Just have some fun tonight. Remember, it's all about the twist. Beautiful. Drop down onto your knees. Untuck the tops of your feet. Sit your sitting bones back down onto your heels. Take your hands back behind you. Lift up your knees. And then gently drop them down again. We'll do that two more times if you want to come into the balance with your hands in prayer position more than welcome to coming all the way back lifting up stretching to the tops of the feet coming all the way forward and then last time stretching out the tops of the feet gently drop those knees down hands go towards the left hand side extend those legs all the way out in front of you well done guys Bend into your knees, hands come back behind you, gently drop all the way back down onto your backs, and just gently work into bridge, bringing your heels towards your sitting bones, knees in line with your hips, drop your hands down either side of your hips, lift up your head, lengthen out through the back of your neck, spread the weight equally across your feet, step in through your feet, lift up your hips, lift up your lower back, middle back and upper back, coming up onto your shoulder blades, Stepping into your feet, lifting up your hips just a little bit higher. And then gently float it all the way back down again. So just two more of these. Step into your feet, lift up your hips, engage into those thighs. Keep those legs strong. Don't splay the knees out towards the side or in towards each other. Lift up, open up your heart center. And then gently float it down. So a couple of dynamic flows here last time. Come all the way down, relax, lengthen out through the back of your neck. Last time, step in through your feet, lift up your hips. Beautiful. Gently release it all the way back down again. All right, I want you to take your feet one step forward. And then just lift up your head. Just make sure that those knees are aligned with your hips. Relax your head back down again. We bend our left knee in towards our left armpit. Bring our left hand inside our left knee, reaching for the outside of our foot, coming to a half happy baby, placing our hand onto our right hip. Just for a moment, lift your head up, make sure that that right knee is not going out towards the right hand side. Bring it in line with the hip, relax into the shoulders, gently pull that underneath the left foot down as you drop that knee in towards your armpit. Beautiful. We're going to release into release happy baby on the left hand side, dropping the foot down towards the mat. Left hand onto left hip. We're bending our right knee towards our right armpit. Right hand comes inside our knee, coming into half happy baby on the right hand side. Again, lifting up your head, noticing what's happening with that knee, keeping it aligned with this hip, and then gently pulling through the underneath of the foot as you bring the knee towards your armpit. Very good. We're going to release that. We're going to do it one more time on either side. Right hand onto right hip, bend the left knee in, come into half happy baby. Again, watch that right knee. Find space, pull it in, relax into the shoulders, lengthen out into the neck. We're almost there, guys. Release into, or release happy baby on the left hand side. Left hand onto left hip, come into half happy baby on that right hand side. Again, look for your alignment. Put the knee in, see if you can find some space, lengthen out. Beautiful. We're going to release the happy baby on the right hand side. Feet go towards the outside edge of the mat. Arms go up towards the side, in line with your shoulders, palms facing up. So, last twist before we move into Shavasana. Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Knees drop across to the left hand side, gaze goes across to the right hand side. If you want to deepen this, lift up your left foot, place your left ankle on the outside of your right knee. Drop the left knee down towards the mat, 
and twist it out a little bit deeper. Don't hurt yourself. Breathe. Belly rises and belly falls. Give a gently release that left foot down towards the man. If you took the bind, knees come back towards the center. Gaze comes back towards the center. Knees go across to the right hand side. Gaze goes across to the left hand side. If you want to up level it, lift up that right foot. Right foot on the outside of the left knee. Drop the right knee down and twist it a little bit deeper. Detoxing our bodies physically, energetically, emotionally and mentally today. Letting go of the toxicity in our lives. Just preparing ourselves for positivity, balance. So release the bind. Knees come all the way back to center. I want you to bring the knees in towards your chest. Hands below your knees. Flex the toes towards your shins. Maybe a gentle rock from left to right, right to left. And then come back to stillness in the center. I want you to find your way to corpse pose. Straightening out your left leg, straightening out your right leg. Ankles go towards the outside edges of the mat. Arms go out towards the side at a 45 degree angle. Close into your eyes. Well done, guys. Long, slow inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth. Let the breath go. And again, long, slow inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth. Let the breath go. So return your breath back to that natural rhythm and flow. Active practice of yoga is done for today. Active control of your breath is done. Let it go, guys. Well done. Beautiful. Practicing with you again. Find stillness. Allow this beautiful practice of yoga to integrate itself into your bodies. Sending lots of love and light to each one of you, wherever you are in the world. Special love and light to my yoga teacher from Maldives. Great to see you. And to all of you beautiful yogis, just absorbing the detoxing of this class tonight. softening, relaxing, just honoring your body, honoring your practice tonight. So guys, just notice where your mind's at. Notice if you've escaped the beautiful place that you're practicing in. Just bring your mind back into that gentle movement of your breath, relaxation of your body. Focus on the detoxing physically, energetically, emotionally and mentally. Not too much longer here.
So bringing your mind and your bodies back into this beautiful space that you're practicing in. So it's connecting back into your physical energy in the space, noticing the touch points of your body on the floor and on the mats. Bring the sensation of touch back to your body. Take your thumb and gently caress each of your fingertips. Wiggle into your fingers, wiggle into your toes. And then, of course, working into your wrists, working into your ankles, rotating them three or four or five times in either direction, balancing out the rotations left and right. And then for a moment, come into stillness. I want you to nod your head across gently to the left-hand side. And then bring your head all the way back to center. Drop it across to the right-hand side. Take your head from the right-hand side gently across to the left-hand side. And then one more time across from the left-hand side towards the right-hand side. Slowly does it. Bring your head back into that neutral position in the center. Bring your ankles together. Extend your arms overhead. As you inhale, stretch out your bodies. As you open up your mouth, let the breath go. Let the toxicity go. Inhaling, bringing good and positive energy in. Open up your mouth. Let the breath go. Let the toxicity go. Bend your knees in towards your chest. Hands below your knees. Wind release pose. Yogi's choice tonight, rocking across to your left-hand side or your right-hand side into fetal position. Keeping your eyes closed, repeat your sankalpa three more times. One more time, let go of the toxicity as you press in through your palms. Bring positive energy into your body, sit back into Sukhasana, easy seated position. Hands come into prayer position at the center of your chest. Push in through your palms. Straighten out your spine. Relax your shoulders. Shoulders over your hips. Relax your chin down towards your chest in gratitude. In gratitude for this most wonderful and sacred practice of yoga. In gratitude for the way in which your body's carried you through your practice today and through your life. Mostly in gratitude for all the blessings that you have in your life. So good to be back practicing with you guys again. Sorry for the technical issues. Thank you for bearing with me. I want to send lots of love, light and positive energy to each and every one of you. Thank you again for supporting me. Sending gratitude to each and every one of you. Namaste beautiful yogis. Again, thank you so much for practicing with me. Have the most beautiful evening. Of course, always open for feedback. So send me a WhatsApp, send me a direct note. Always love to hear from you. If you want anything in your practice on Wednesday at 5 o'clock, let me know. I'll bring it in. Otherwise, you leave me to my own devices. Have a beautiful evening.